This segment sponsored by the Virginia Lottery Everyday Wins, featuring the all-new Metal Scratchers. Well, thanks for watching Virginia This Morning Live right here on CBS 6. It's time for a culinary lesson from the kitchen magician, our great friend of the show, executive chef Asar Ariank, ready to whip up a homemade creamy lemon seafood pasta and make today an everyday win sharing a kitchen hack that you can use at home. Asar, it's awesome to see you. Likewise, awesome to see you as well. You know, Chef, when, when we said of the people that we want to get try to get back in here first, you were definitely at the top <laughs> of the list. Oh, thank and you. so you're here, and as always, it, you've actually laid out, the, the set is beautiful before you even start. So you've got all your ingredients on one side and then mm -hmm. some more on the other, and yeah. then the, everything's good to go. The, is the pan hot already? Yes, the pan is hot, ready to roll. Okay. It's hot. Ready to it's go. ready. Okay. Are we going to do our time saver here sure, first, we can, Chef we can knock that out first. Okay. Okay, um, here we have an onion, and I'm going to show you a hack that will help you to reduce tears and not mm -hmm. cry when you're cutting the right. onion. You're hidden back there, Chef. So, um, all right. You want to move this over here? Oh, here, I'll just move the parsley. Okay. So they can see it. Yeah. There we go. Gotcha. The onion. Dee will tell us where we okay. need to go. So you look at the onion you have here, you have the root and you have the top of mm -hmm. it. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut the onion and we're going to leave the root intact. And then you're going to cut the front of it off so you can have the face looking flat like mm -hmm. this. So what we're going to do now is just make, you know, incisions like this. Okay. He's a surgeon. He's making see, I'd be worried. And then it you're going to cut okay. straight down. Oh. This is going to dictate the size of your cut of your just dice. by going straight down, yep, of the dice. Now how is this cut, it's not, is it faster it, or is it, it just faster. Like tears? Yep. Okay, so it's fast, so you see that, but now watch what happens when we do this part. We got Ooh. the small dice that we're looking for. Oh. Okay, now the hack is with this one is that by leaving the root on, yeah. it, the root is similar to like a, a vein or artery. If you cut that root off, mm -hmm. what happens is while we're cutting the onion, we're rupturing cells, and when you rupture the cells, the onions release something called um, amino acid sulfoxides. And what happens with those is it, re it reacts with an enzyme, and that enzyme creates something called synpropanthial S oxide. Oh, yeah, I knew that. And that's what, <laughs> and it's, very, it's highly volatile, mm -hmm. meaning that, you know, it's, it's highly reactive at room temperature, mm -hmm. and it creates a gas, and then that gas reacts with the liquid in your eyes that creates a mild sulfuric acid. Man, he's, a, <laughs> he's the kitchen magician. L and so look at how, how awesome the dice is there and everything. And I'm like, I'm this trying to like perfect. test yeah, so that's, our that's how you, well, by doing it no this tears. way, you get the um, uniformity of your cuts so everything can cook at the same time. Uh -huh. But that root is what kind of, you know, gives you that issue right so here. She's gonna play I don't with want it. Yeah, be careful. You, you know. Would. Okay. So wait, I gotta get the skin yeah, off you here. How do we? Oh wait. Yeah, we'll cut that you front face you... off. Yeah, cut that off. There you oh, go. you've got a nice sharp knife. Yeah, I and see be careful with the sharp. Knife. There's a first aid kit nearby. Isn't <laughs> okay, so we peel. Yeah. How much at all? Okay, of you can get. Don't worry about the first layer. Okay. You know, you can get that first layer. Okay. That's not gonna bother you. We got plenty. Take that first layer off. Bingo, bingo. Yep. So then you want to make your incisions. There you go. This way. Yep. Very careful. I feel yeah. like this is a and little... stop a little bit. Don't go all the way through the root. Stop oh. right there. There you go. I feel like I'm leaving a lot of onion behind, though, Chef Asar. No, My frugalness fine. is screaming out at us right now. All right. Okay. You're good. And now you're going to make your vertical cuts. You did pretty good for you. All right. Ready? You no, know, that's going to be a big dice, but it's all right. Okay. Sorry. Well, this is coarsely chopped for yeah, chili. Nobody's crying yet. No. Mm -hmm. Look at this. So, yeah, a time saver translating yeah. to an everyday win. No more tears yeah, over. Just don't cut the root off and you'll be good and to don't go. cut my fingers off. Yeah, you don't want to well, do that either. That, then it would be Yeah, quiet. you get a nice dice, though. You oh, know, yeah. Get yeah. yeah. you, my sous chef. Jackpot. All right. Okay, All right. there. So okay. And go. then don't get any closer. Get any closer We're good to, to go. So you don't cry. Look. <laughs> There's no tears. This is going to be really bad if you I start tearing up. Right? <laughs> no, it's good. No yeah, tears. Man, mm -hmm. you are a magician. All right, cool. Well, now we're ready for this delicious recipe. Without further okay. ado. So what we do, okay, we always start with a nice hot pan as we have here. And I have some scallops here. And I'm going to take a zest or a microplane. I'm just going to add a little bit of lemon zest to that, just a little bit. And I got some cracked black pepper on it. And you don't want to add salt to it. You know the reason why you don't want to put salt? Right out. Not only. missed one. Oh, one of them. We'll get that one, one for Bill. One behind. Here. 
You don't want to add the salt at that point because what will happen if you add the salt, salt does what? It draws moisture out mm. and it's going to lead to a lot of water getting into the pan and being a lot more popping than, than it is now. Dry it so out. So we got that going. Okay. We got it on the heat. I'm going to go ahead and put some shrimp in there now. I noticed there's no tails on there. Same tail the off as you always right. like. Mm -hmm. And I got lobster meat in there. Oh, hello, wow. hello. So, boy, oh boy. Lobster in there for you. So all of that is going to be cooking up, and we're going to get some nice um, color and caramelization on that. So. so you put those all in at about the same time. At the same time. Yeah, I just let them all go about the same speed. There you go. Yeah. Bill, you're catching on to this yeah, whole yeah. thing. You know I mean? <laughs> he might make us lunch hey, yet. Yeah. eight or nine years, I'll get this <laughs> from just watching anyway. For sure. So you see you get that nice caramelization right there on the oh, scallop. Yeah. This is the only stage in preparing this dish where you can get the color on the scallops. So you want to make sure you get that nice caramelization. The, the shrimp and the lobster meat, you don't have to worry too much about that. You just want to get the, it's still going to cook throughout the process, but you want to get that nice color on your scallops, which we achieved right there. You can see the nice caramelization on it. Oh, yeah. So we turn those. We're about three minutes, Chef, just so okay, you know where we are. Zoom on it. We'll mm -hmm. zoom. Sorry, we invested no, a lot of time so on the whole week. We're not actually live today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, right? <laughs> Let's zoom in. That was a good one, Bill. Okay. Your comedy's been, you know, I can see you've been working on it. It hasn't improved or it has? It's we gotten better. Know. It's gotten worse. Tons of. <laughs> okay, so I flipped those over. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Smells yeah. fantastic. Thank you. Oh, I'm so uh, it was just, what kind of oil was in it? Was that was a little bit of olive oil. Olive oil. And yeah. we're letting that cook now. And that's okay. it. I got, I got it on 10. So then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to deglaze the pan uh -oh. with a little bit of white wine. Put some white wine in there. I'm gonna Nothing throw some like a drunk Garlic. Style. Oh, yeah. Got to have there. garlic. Bill, I almost called you beans again, but oh well. I'm going to put some seafood stock in here. <laughs> we know who I'm talking about. <laughs> some butter. <laughs> she, she, she confuses me with her dog. Oh my God! Oh, <laughs> oh goodness okay. gracious! Now I am crying. I don't care what you call me. Just call me when the shrimp's done. Call gone. me when it's done. <laughs> so you Himalayan had a little delicious salt. stock in there. Yep, some... little seafood stock in there. I'm oh. gonna put some lemon juice in there, and the lemon. Yeah. So you already squoezed that lemon? Yep, I squoezed that lemon already. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit more zest. And the zest, it gives it a lot of flavor, gives it more flavor than the actual lemon juice because you have the essential oils in the, in the zest. The skin, yeah. Yep. Okay, Friends, so we have that going. I wish now Smell-O-Vision existed because it just made its way over here and it's Yeah, we'll be all seeing folks from the newsroom coming yeah. down the hall here any second. Okay, like, so now cool? we're going to we dreamt it would some be. pasta in there. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, Chef what, Is that angel hair? Angel hair, yes. Okay. Do you have to sort of like cheat on the amount of time you cook that pasta so it like soaks up still? Yes, there you go. You want to cook your pasta till it's right about just a little prior to al dente. And once it's a little prior to al dente, you pull it out and you shock it in ice water so it can stop the cooking process. Mm -hmm. And the reason you want to do so is... Shock it in ice water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The reason you want to do that is because you want it to still have a little bite while you're cooking it here so it can absorb those flavors that you've seen in there. So that liquid that we have in there, when it's all said and done, it's going to mostly be all absorbed by that angel here that we dropped in there. My intention is not to be a party pooper on this, but I have to ask you, were these onions essential for this recipe? Yeah, there we go. So we'll just put okay. a little bit in there. We got so excited about making yeah, them. Yeah, they were all the way over there to the side, so it's all right. All it's right, fine. they're just in I'll have a little spot right okay. over here. Onions Let will do their cook. thing. They'll do fine. Oh, wow. So. And so this is such, I mean, like, I'm just going to call it a glamorous dish to come together really yeah, as quickly. Hard. Don't try that at home. Or do. <laughs> just make sure you have an apron. So you see how the pasta soaked up the majority of yeah, the liquid is already liquid gone. Left. So it, that means the pasta drank it all up and the flavor is all within it. So what we're going to do now is just touch it with a little cream. That's where I make it that creamy pasta. Don't be afraid touch to add a little cream. more cream. So we're about out of time. Asar, if we gave yep. you a little bit more time to finish this, will you stay with us and we can do a little taste test in a oh, couple sure. minutes or it's, so? Oh, sure. It's pretty much done now. Oh. If you want me to do the plating on it, it's good. Okay. All right. I think we have a second. I think we have okay, a second. Okay. So. It's Ooh. actually not plating. It's bowling. It's a big, nice portion size <laughs> there. So we're going to go ahead and 
Mm -hmm. Sweet it really did come together so quickly. Oh. Boom. Oh. One tried to yeah. escape. Yeah, we got him. We got to get got out of, there he is. Uh -huh. got out of Shawshank. <laughs> that in there. Uh, and we're going to finish oh. it with a little shaved parm. Oh, oh boy. Shaved parm right on the top. Done. Oh. Done. Boom. Wow. Does anybody, does anybody have a fork? Oh, wait. Oh, gosh. You Hold didn't on. get anything for... <laughs> Yes. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Fork. Yeah. Thanks, Bill. This is courtesy of you. Where's your fork? You had one in the plastic Ready. wrap. Where I, is I got it? it right here. Okay. Boom. Asar. I mean, this is Sorry. it. Ready? I'm going right for this bite, dipping it in a little creaminess. Gonna, gonna... Yeah. Did you get any noodles at all? Uh. I get the noodles. It's super hot. Yeah. That's that hot? Whew. All right. While she's doing that, thanks for sharing the delicious recipe, Chef. You're welcome. And mm. another kitchen hack. For more information on Chef Azar's catering business, we'll post a link on our show website by 3 p.m. today at WTBR.com slash VTM. Stay there. There's more Virginia this morning coming up. I'm going fast so I can eat. Yum. Mm -mm -mm.